You guys, there is an auction in Rome that's occurring and welcome to the channel. My name is Davo. It is for 353 million euros. We're going to talk about it here on this channel. This is Trending Real Estate. If you don't know, I have another channel. Uh, it's called Davo here on YouTube. We, we actually show projects. We tell stories about people who have purchased Italian real estate. And this is kind of an extension of that. So please subscribe if you don't already subscribe to the other channel where we're going to share projects. We just bought a two euro or a one euro home, I guess. We're going to be remodeling that on the channel. So please uh, support us over there as well. Thanks. Here we are, as I said, a Villa Ludovisi Gambon Campagne is for auction January 18, 2022 for 353 million euros, actually plus a little bit more. Here's the property on Google Maps. Uh, you can see its location in relation to other famous sites such as the Colosseum down here at the bottom. And then the, the Pantheon is over here and there's the river. The very famous river over there, Roma Termini uh, train station over here to the right. Anyway, just really, really principal area of Rome. If you've read any of the articles that are swirling around the internet right now, they're focused a lot on the art. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But I do want to show you, you see how it says it's 533 million. Well, it's actually the minimum bid is a lot lower. And I'm not lying. I'll show you here right now um, why I say that. I don't know why they're saying 533 million euros on that article specifically. Um, oh, that's dollars. So maybe they're translating 470 to 533, but the minimum offer is actually 353 million euro, 250,000, okay? Uh, make sure that you don't offer anything less if you do participate because you won't be able to participate. But it is on that date and hour at 3 o'clock and you have to get your bid in by the 17th. Um, so make sure you're ready and prepared for that. It's also called the Casino della Aurora, like I said, because that was it's actually just one small portion of a previous estate, a much larger estate. And it's actually really important, you can tell, because it's not often there's such an elaborate yeah, you see this video? <laughs> it's not so common you get this elaborate of a, this video elaboration done for such a like a, a common property, no? So you want to check that video out, you definitely can. Uh, the link's in the description. Let's jump into uh, the villa. You can f find stuff all about it on Wiki. I'm not going to waste your time reading about it, but it's really kind of cool that uh, this this property is so historic that even the king of Sardinia's lover uh, rented this place, or he rented this place for her for a period of time, Vic King Victor Emmanuel II. So that was really cool back in 1872. Is written right there. Um, but the art is probably the most important, cool thing about this whole thing. Uh, when you go into the auction, you'll notice here this word called perizia. If you want to translate, it's called expertise. There are 21. And what this is an, is an inspection report. You go inside these inspection reports, you're usually not that many. Um, but this is being such an important property, apparently it was needed. And I'll show you why here in a second. The first one, you can see some information about the size and uh, the justification of why it costs so much and really cool maps about how it was used to be a countryside villa in some of the other villas that had uh, garden spaces and showing it set up on a slight hill and all that kind of stuff. It was really cool to see these things here in the inspection report. These inspections were done in 2019 uh, so they're really not that old in comparison but you can see the state of the property on the day that they took those pictures in 2019 and uh, yeah, all of the outbuildings that they have involved. Now, talking about the art, if you know who Caravaggio is, I'm not a big art connoisseur, but Caravaggio is a pretty famous artist and his only known ceiling painting, which is not a fresco, but it is apparently really quite popular because it's his only one. Um, it's on the ceiling of this building, okay, inside the Villa Ludovisi. And uh, there's beautiful photos of it on multiple different websites. You can kind of browse through some of these links here and see the. If you don't know her, you might not have been, uh, you might not have been an adult in the '80s. But <laughs> she's a, a, one of the famous family members that no longer gets to hold on to this because of a discrepancy of who should receive it as an inheritance on the death of her husband. So. 
uh, that's how it ended up on auction. Let's jump onto the, the art and then we'll call it quits. We have his uh, famous mural on the ceiling here and then there's other artists as well but this Parizia, I mentioned the Parizia before, the, the inspection reports is actually really cool because you get into it and they had to justify all of the art, you know, they show the facade and everything. You scroll down here and you start getting to see all of the art, why they justified the price and uh, because the art has almost more value than the building itself, right? <laughs> They're really, really cool. You can see everything inside as it was to in 2019. And if you go through the other inspection reports, you can see actual like, and this is how much it should cost. If you're interested on more information on auctions here in Italy, make sure to check the links in the description. And I'm here to help out in any way I can.